Hi, welcome to Main Street Macro. I'm Neela Richardson. You know, the labor market has been on an incredible run all year, but there are signs that with the Fed continuously hiking rates and a recent spattering of corporate announcements of hiring freezes or layoffs, there are signs that the labor market's winning streak may be coming to an end. Well, we know that turning points from growth to downturns are really hard to spot as they're happening. But here are three ways that you can tell if the labor market is actually starting to turn. The first place to look is pay. And we've seen pay gains spike upwards over the last year. But according to new data from ADP's National Employment Report, job changers are seeing a steady decrease in pay growth. Now, don't get me wrong. You still make out really well by changing jobs in this labor market. In fact, it's still an increase year over year of over 15%. But we have seen five straight months of declines and pay growth for job changers may have peaked. Now, the second place to look is turnover. Remember the great resignation? Well, when's the last time you've heard that phrase on the news? We've seen in the most recent data that firms are still posting jobs, uh, but they're not having to hyper-replace workers the way they used to, and job postings are starting to ease down. And workers are quitting less, yes, less going into next year than they were before. And finally, when it comes to turnover, we're also seeing firms are really holding on to their workers. Layoffs, as signified by initial jobless claims, are still very low. Now, the final turning point that we're watching for is labor force participation. And this one's kind of stalled. It's been about a percentage point below uh, pre-pandemic levels for the better part of the year. Sometimes we get a little bump up in the number of people coming into the labor market, but it seems like the very next month people leave again. So we're watching this to see if where there's any more improvement in those workers coming off the sidelines and getting back into the labor market. Now, like I said, turning points are hard to capture, uh, but whether or not this 2022 really strong job market still is strong in 2023, well, that's a question. You'll have to go to ADPRI.org to find out. Thanks for watching.